What's good everyone, it's your boy Sifu G, the Esoteric Warrior. Hope everyone's doing good today. Alright, so I had a question regarding the Iron Snake Gate Level 1, uh, the Water Element or Trigram. There's a section that uh, moves back with a double Tarn, double Bong Sal, or we also say a Chap Sal, Grok Sal, and the double Full Nan Choi. Also known as the Sun Punch. <coughs> um... So this is for Bernard in Germany. Thank you so much for buying and practicing. So let's just quickly go over it. Remember, there's different possibilities. There's different setups. I'm just going to give you a few different uh, applications. Remember, in the form, it's using a double bridge power training. When we do uh, sound sale techniques, we're also working on single hand as well. So depending on the scenario or the drill, because these can also be added as drills with a, with a partner. <clears throat> so after you've come out and you've fun kill, then you come back with your double tarn. It's at your mid gate here, right? It's not up high, it pulls in and it uses a ton action, the ton hun, right? And then it steps forward and moves into the body or your opponent's body looking like a bong sao but not with the arm up like Wing Chun. It actually corkscrews very minute as if your fingers are on the person and you're going to drill into them. That's one application, right? So if it was like this, just as a stabbing action, it could have been a punch or like in a higher form in mountain, we use a, a leopard fist or a ginger fist using a chop choy action. Um, if I was on the outside of the bridge, two hands to two hands, and you double push or double punch, I'm gonna close up and pull you in. That's one, and then I can attack straight back with the punch. Remember, the form is all the different possibilities. It doesn't necessarily go in order when you fight. But I'll quickly show you how it could also work. If I pulled you in, um, and as I pull you in, I open you up using the chop. If you punch for my uh, mid gate, I can parry that just like this, right? Left or right hand could be on the outside bridge, could be on the inside bridge and punch straight back. If it was a double push, I can do the same. But remember, if we're playing uh, a drill and we're going up and down on the inside outside bridge, when I if I go too if I pull the opponent down too fast and too wide, that's going to spin their arm up to come with a punch up high or around my bridge to hit me, right? So when we're practicing, we only practice the here, but. In reality, I might have pushed the person's hand out and spun it back around. And therefore, we gox out and we catch that as it comes back around. So if I did push down, it comes around, I gox and I cut into it and there's a punch. So it goes one, two, three and four like this in the form. So there's a possibility that I catch it on the way up and attack back. In reality, I could have just uh, parried it out, punched, or dribbled it straight in using the same hand from here, just by extending, right? <clears throat> the pull in can also be a headbutt as well, which we use with our foot cell claw, right? <clears throat> but from here, I pull in, I can stab into the body, get a reaction. If I open you up and you come around, I can gox out out. If I'm on the outside, he comes back up with a, a whipping fist or the the bill, bill sow. I can gox, trap, and straight in with the punch again, right, with the pack sow from the first part of the form. Right, so there's many possibilities. These are just some. We work double bridge power for the body, right? So we can understand 
and then sand sail practice we can use this type of action practicing with each other and see if we can stick hit follow and control all at once in a fight it doesn't always necessarily act like that but in iron snake we learn how to do things in order then we arrange it in a combat combative sense to uh, try to do a scenario as if it is in the street like I said when they're coming around here my gox cell might be out here this could also be like a gun cell right a deflection out here but in Iron Snake we keep everything very tight in the body but in reality it may have to go off on that angle and then you just have to use your body to uh, adjust right <clears throat> so we learn all the principles and then we apply it in a combative sense right so we understand the principles of the system by doing everything correct keeping our center line our elbows in to produce power so there's a power training single double bridge force and then combat we try to apply it using angles and to the best of our uh, understanding with the most basic techniques uh, otherwise in a, in a real fight you just smash away first right if someone comes up to you but we're just talking about principles and how to use it this is a few so punch comes I can parry that down and strike back in or parry and chop straight in right if I push down it comes around I can use that to deflect or cut gop means to cut into the person's power and then punch back out could be the other side as well doesn't matter when you practice the sound cell techniques you uh, put the pressure on each other left the right side and you practice both sides all right bernard thanks so much shout out to germany all the best with the training hope that helps that's a little bit of time i got today so uh all the best buddy cheers